Well, welcome to a new video. I'm looking at another Discovery. I'm looking at the Discovery D42 and it comes in a, a quid under 20k. Now I'm doing this again at the show and just before I start I've just got to say what a fantastic lot of people I've seen today on subscribers. I'm really really pleased. Um, I don't know all your names I'm very sorry because I'm a bit forgetful on names but one lady Irene I think they call them here we tow or here we gonna tow. Sorry about if I've got the name wrong. Uh, I met her and her husband and a, and, a, and a little girl and we had a good chat and we had a selfie and all that sort of thing and it was really good and she was lovely. Um, anyway, uh, and I just met some other people who had helped to buy a Coachman 575 I think it was and also a Sprite Alpine 2. Anyway, let's get on with this because the show's officially now shut and I'm here, so let's go in. Put my phone down. Don't don't forget it, mate. Well, it's a traditional two berth van, and of course, again, I'll say I don't. I'm not keen on that front window. Uh, you're probably fed of me saying that, so I won't say any more. But uh, uh, by the way, I don't like that front window. Anyway, uh, I think it would be better the other way round. Um, as I say, on the landscape. But um, as I say, this is a very lightweight Toro. It's light on price as well. And although I'm not happy, you know, I personally don't like the profile, but if you do, that's fine. So what do I think of it? Well, big lounge area here, obviously no chest of drawers, of course. There's a blown air heating outlet there. But what they've done on, on these new ones now, they've added this little um, storage bit there, which is quite handy. They've taken out the corner pockets in the corner of the uh, material there and they've um, basically changed the style of these as well which I think look better in all fairness now this does feel a basic car there's no curtains on the window not even any fake curtains which yeah I didn't mention on the other one on the new layout one but I still like some curtains even if they're sort of fake ones and look real well do you know what I mean anyway um, seating isn't bad um, although again chappy of my size you put the weight on there and it does go down to the boards and after a few years that would definitely happen no doubt but we are talking a car at less than 20k so lounge can make into a big double bed here or two single beds and it's good lighting too so you've got spot lamps corner spot lamps and leds just above the window there right let's have a look at the kitchen area Right, what they've done here, they're, sh they're shutting the doors on the vans. What they've done here, they've made that little shaped kitchen. Big, big sink. Uh, three burner hob, of course. Uh, spark ignition. Again, good lighting. The cupboards aren't down. Now, somebody said on the other day that they thought those lights didn't. They thought the cupboards would be better opening up way. Um, again, it's down to preference, I suppose, really. But two main sockets here. Your controls for your true mojito. And as I say, good down lighting here and a handy extra bit of worktop. Storage space, yes, you are a little bit um, stuck. Uh, although, yeah, that's big enough draw, but the gas side, uh, cylinder uh, storage compartment is on the outside and it does take up some of this area. On this opposite side here, you've got the Dometic fridge freezer and also another main socket and a 12 volt socket and for the TV aerial yes this has a status TV aerial on it even though it's a basic Tora again good size roof lockers and the shelf in there although that's a little bit pliable but you won't put much too heavy on there I'm sure so then again obviously the polystyrene fillet things which I'm not over keen on but again overall it's not bad for the cash I've got to admit it Put a lip on here so you can leave stuff on there if you were towing like your coins or whatever. Um, again, there's no microwave in there, and of course, as a Bailey feature, the um, battery is in the floor. Some people may like that, some people may not. Personally, if I've got to pull and lift that out to get the battery out, I think it's easy to get from the side. 
I know Tabbert have done that, um, probably one or two others, a bit of a Motown trick. Anyway, let's go in this washroom. Right now, the washroom, as I said, with that curve in the wall, it does make it give it a lot bigger. You've got the the curtain there, which obviously, yeah, it will stick to you when you get in the old shower there. But on the whole, it's not a bad size. And again, it's no window, but I can forgive it for its price. It's got a decent enough roof vent in there, good LED lighting. And basically, it's not bad. It's practical. There's a bit of storage, he says, but there isn't storage in there. It's just boxed out, so I'm lying to you. Sorry about that. Decent little um, um, sink there, but there is storage cupboard behind the curtain there, which isn't bad at all. And when it comes to your wardrobe, what Ben they've done, you see, they've given you like a, uh, a washroom at the back, but they've sort of shared it with the wardrobe. So when normally a wardrobe would be in that rain washroom, they've, they've kept the two separate. Again, for two people, I don't think it's a bad size, but correct me if you think I'm incorrect. Good LED lighted again down there. Uh, say lips on there, some storage underneath. And, uh, sorry, the storage underneath there and the, the, the locker there. Um, underneath the wardrobe and these little hooks are just a nice little finish really right okay um, let's not mention the control panel which is here of course and even though it's a more modern one it is still pretty easy to understand even for the likes of me so let's have a bit of a summary on what we think of this the little two berth which I think actually ain't bad some people will actually love this fan and I can see why um, they say, I think they've got the right idea with this, but as I say, it was just a little bit less quirky. That's just me, though. That's just my personal, personal thing. Right now, what do I think? Well, I better think first and pick my phone up. The wife's waiting for me outside with granddaughter. We're off to have a meal uh, with some friends of ours, and um, so I better get my skates on. Basically, I think it's in bad value for money, really. As I say, not a big favourite on the profile and that front window. But, you know, if you're looking for pretty good value for money, it's UK built. It's got the status TV aerial in there, that you know, the one you can adjust, um, which is good. And it doesn't feel badly built at all. Nothing feels as though it's come loose while the show's been on. And usually, you know, it's like people come and they start pushing and pulling at things and retching at stuff. We've all done it, probably, even me. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it seems to have stood up quite well. The seating, I would say, definitely needs a bit more padding in. Uh, if, you're very, if you're a lightweight, if you're a slim gym, you're all right. It, you'll be fine. Um, a bit of a cushion there in the corners. Not bad, makes it a little bit more homely. Uh, as I say, me, I think I just missed the eye window there being a bit big there. But, storage-wise, for two people, it's pretty good. As I say, it's light. And, they've done enough to it, I suppose, just to sort of give it that freshen up. But, there will be a Discovery 3, I presume, at some stage. Um, and, it'll be interesting to see if they do change the profile or they keep it at this profile. Um, we shall have to see. So, everything you need really for, for, a, for a couple who are using this on a long tour or just weekend breaks. And you can get it in your driveway. Well, in most people's driveways. Plus as well, it's lightweight, so you don't have to get a big car to tow it, of course. Which is obviously a bonus uh, if you're in that position where you don't want a bigger car. And also, as I say, it's pretty affordable. I don't know what lead times are on these, I haven't asked them that, but... Um, Probably around about, I don't know, maybe May, June where you might get them if you order it now. Oh, and just one thing I forgot to mention was, as well, the table for your um, freestanding there is, isn't in there. And I think it's quite a neat little idea, actually. That comes out and you just, yeah, it does, it comes out. There you go. You just go and pull your table out. So on the whole, they've done the tweaks. I think they've sort of done what they could do and just give it a slight freshen up. And I think, the, I think the Discovery range probably has that sort of person who just likes them. It's quite niche, but it, seems, it works. And they still have a stable door, which a lot of manufacturers don't put on anymore. 
I'm going to be courteous and shut the door for them. There we go, GLP side, so pretty tough alloy wheels, Alco chassis, storage at the th to get to you, put your storage in because you've no front gas locker, of course, and a very long drawbar. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that video, and I better go and um, pick my wife up, otherwise, I'll be in trouble. But that's nothing new, is it? I'm always in trouble. But great to see a lot of subscribers at this show this last few days. And as I say, you know, it really does mean a lot when you come in and uh, you, you like the channel. I always say, do you really like it? Honestly, thank you. I just really say what I mean, really, to be quite honest. Don't forget, I'm not promoted. I don't work for Bailey. I don't work for Eldis. Swift or Coachman. I'm independent. And that's what I like to be. Just giving you all my years of experience really. Anyway, enough of all that rubbish. Let me see you on the next video and um, keep safe and thanks for watching and please keep subscribing and if you do buy any of the vans you see on the video please mention the channel as well. That'd be good. Thanks very much.